Yep. It's a good time to be a prop replica collector. We're kind of in the golden age of prop replicas, it seems. Everybody's making them. They're awesome. They're affordable, affordable and plentiful. And they come in so many different variations. This is Spirit Halloween and they kind of came out of nowhere, I think. I think they surprised everybody by releasing a life-sized proton pack on top of their 80% sized pack as a response to the Haslabs proton pack, I think. This one is half the price, plus it has a wand. So it's even, I mean, it's like a third of the price of the Haslabs, but is it as good? Probably not. But for the money, this is amazing. People are already modding the old ones, the 80% ones. This is life-size and all the accessories for the Haslabs, all the real parts used will fit perfectly on this. And I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a bunch of really, really awesome paint jobs and mods to this pack. Halloween this year is gonna be awesome. Let's, uh, let's take it up and see. And it's got accessories that so comes with gloves. Good, thick Ghostbusters gloves. That's awesome. And two Ghostbusters patches. Got one of these guys, shoulder patch, and this uh, scared Slimer patch. Not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but hey, they're free. It's a little instruction manual for the pack. Like the Haslabs one, it comes with straps. They're not the greatest straps, but uh, it comes with them. So it's ready to use right out of the box which is nice if you're not going for very accurate anything. It just, it's ready to go. This might be the battery compartment. Three double A's. First impressions, this feels a lot like the original pack. It's just very, very light. Materials look basically the same. All the hoses, all the cables, wires, everything. It's just a scaled up. The ion arm though is different. The other one, I don't think even had an ion arm, but it's the wrong material. This is kind of like a yellow zinc piece and it's supposed to be brass, but that's an easy fix. It has a wand, which is it's so light. Very, 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 very light. Mm. Okay. It does not have the rumble effect that the Haslabs has. Uh, we're not gonna be comparing it to the Haslabs always because they're a completely different product, but uh, in case you were wondering, uh, this is uh, what it is. So definitely a lot more plasticky, but as a, just a walk around wear, maybe a couple of times, I think this is totally fine. The wand tip doesn't extend and it's missing the little lever that goes here that you extended. I don't know why they did that. I mean, they could probably have just done that. How much would that have cost? There's no display here. No lights going on over here. This sticker I think is upside down. I don't know. I don't know why they did that, but oh well. None of the buttons are functional. They're very tiny little levers. The only button that's functional is the, uh, the slow blow button. Oh, sorry. That was the power button. The slow blow, the slow blow button. If the Haslabs hadn't come out and I didn't already have it, this would be, I mean, it wouldn't be perfect, but this would be a really great upgrade to the 80% one. I mean, it looks like Ghostbusters. This is a Ghostbusters pack. There's no way around it. You put this on, you're a Ghostbusters. Everybody's gonna know what this is. This would even look good as a display in your man cave, your gaming room, down in your basement, kids room, wherever you might wanna find room for it. This could look good just on its own, but with a little paint job, I think it's gonna look Awesome. And some real world parts, like a metal here, a, a real clipper valve on both of these. Put in some, you know, weight in here. And uh, I think you got yourself a really nice piece. Got a V hook, hooks on like this. Spirit Halloween, you knocked it out of the park. This is a great piece. Let's compare it quickly to the Haslabs. Side by side, obviously there is a difference, but considering the Haslabs was $500 plus the $250 wand, and this is only $250 for the whole pack and wand, that's a great value. Not that you can even buy these things anymore. Say, so if you're looking for a bargain proton pack that just looks the part that you can easily modify, you can paint and do all kinds of stuff without worrying about ruining a collectible piece or doing something to some very expensive replica. This is it. I am sure they're gonna keep making these 
and definitely like they have with the 80% pack, this is gonna be a great seller. It might sell out, think about that. You might wanna get one now so you don't have to scramble when uh, it's getting too close to your uh, costume and uh, you have to wait for it to come back in stock. 